Hello, people. Thank you for joining us for the second episode of Slowless Council. We are joined here with a few people, and we're going to have about six news stories. And then we're going to get into, you know, some personal stuff about us. You know, what are our favorite things? And that's about it. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, You'll seven. never have the sacred stone. Oh, this new crazy mother... Hello everyone. Um yeah, that was our intro. I may have to cut that down a little bit. But Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so I keep forgetting. Okay. Um my name is Justin. Um I'm from Slowless in Your Face. YouTube.com slash slow slowless in your face on Twitter at Slowless Network. Um I don't really tweet that much though. So, I mean yeah but um yeah that's about it for me i don't i don't have nothing special about myself so to, to, um off to catalina hi my name is cat and uh i don't use twitter at all uh, mostly facebook so you can always message me there um and just part of the slow list sort of uh production and all that not much about me either all right mitt Hey everyone, I'm Mithril from my YouTube channel, Mithril Audio, and I'm not really on social media at all, so <laughs> that's it about me. Victoria? Alright, I am Victoria from the Victorian Empire on YouTube, uh, and all my social media is listed there, youtube.com slash the Victorian Empire. Okay, so hey, I'm okay. Um, I am on social media. I am on Instagram, codename Savvy. Um, I do Twitter, and it's in living color, spelled like the English way. Well, like, was that Europe? Yeah, it's underscore in living color. And yeah, I sing songs, I have YouTube, and... There will be links in all of the places that you go. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so this first story is, I mean, it's a little sad, but I mean, it's a little sad, but if you have a mor morbid, a morbid sense of humor, you know, because like, it sounds like Grand Theft Auto, and that's why I'm like, that's why I picked this story, because like, I've seen it happen in Grand Theft Auto where, like they the the ambulance doesn't care like they'll run over people to go save someone and it's just like you're defeating the purpose <laughs> so well anyway so this guy what was his name um okay Michael Coulter Jr. okay and he got hit by a Toyota and the you know the driver did the right thing they stopped they called the police and then the ambulance comes and hits him and then he dies and it's just 
What a series of unfortunate events. I mean, and then like on vacation. Oh man, on vacation. On vacation. Oh my god. Yeah. I've heard a similar story to like it was not like a car or anything, but it was crazy. But this is just like it's tragic. I don't. I've played Grand Theft Auto before, and I've seen like people just like run people over on there, but. I mean, but you never really think it happen. it'll happen in yeah, that's real what life. It's just really extremely ironic and depressing. Yeah. You would think somebody would be able to see a body in front of their car. Like, uh-huh. But it's just like, I mean, okay, the ambulance is called, right? I'm, don't they slow down by the time they get to the where yeah. they're supposed to be? It's well, just, I guess not. <laughs> not only that, but... I mean, if you hit somebody with a car, you know, more than likely they're going to be close to the car. Were, was the ambulance really going to run over the whole scene? Because I've heard of, like, firefighters or police cars hitting people on their way to a scene because, like, they're speeding to get there. But I've never heard, like, they get at the scene and hit somebody. It's just like, well, gee. Yeah, and I'd have to imagine that's uh, pretty awkward. Yeah, it's just like, hey, where's the body we're supposed to save? Oh, it's underneath our ambulance. (laughs) Darn. And then what do they do? Do they, like, call more people or do they just, like, take that person and they're like, no, because now, now my bad. Now you're in the whole crime scene. Now you're now you're going to be investigated. I mean, it's not a crime scene. That is like paperwork up the ass completely <laughs> like now you are a suspect oh. <laughs> not even a suspect i mean that they just that's the person that ran them over that's, <laughs> yeah that's we know story. um that would be like the most complicated murder plot ever like let's get this person to run them over and then we'll come over in our ambulance to go run them <laughs> over again foolproof right <laughs> <laughs> i mean if someone was smart enough to get all of that done I mean, just let them go because, I mean, they're going to get out of prison anyway and they're smart enough to get out. So, so this is my uh, my first time hearing about this story, actually, just now. So, I mean, do you guys know what happened to the guy, the person who was driving the ambulance? It says, the officer involved in the incident has been placed on administrative leave pending the investigation. Doesn't have an update. And administrative leave, for people who don't know, that's paid vacation. Oh, Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, in this instant, I mean, yeah, it was a mistake, you know. So it's not like, yeah. you know, um, that's that's a pretty big mistake, though. I mean, yeah, it is. Like, I, it's unfortunate. Like, I feel kind of bad for the person who did it, you know, because of, of course you're not meaning to do it on purpose, but I, I feel like you would have to be fired for that. Yeah. Yeah, it does seem like a like a a deal ender, like. You're doing, I mean, yeah, how do you, I don't, it just sounds, uh, it doesn't have, like, a lot of detail of, like, how it happened, so I don't know why, you, why they, I don't know. How do you go back to work knowing you contradicted your whole job? I mean, I mean, there's people that do it. I just, I I can't. mean, there's, like, there's angels of death, like, nurses who kill people. No, but oh my god. Yeah. Especially with like an accident, you know, those things are more purposeful because you know, angel of death, that's their job. A nurse who no, kills there's people. No, there's not a job. No, uh, but it's that, mean, that they're, they're like, that's that, their whole I purpose. Hope not a job. <laughs> no, no, but that's their whole like, that's what they think their job. Can you imagine on the first day, what do you do for a living? <laughs> How I kill people. Oh my god. <laughs> But on vacation, too. I think that's really, like, the icing. Yeah. It's just, like, and on vacation. Like, had like he didn't get off his miserable job and get and die. Mm. He died in paradise. Well, I don't know. That well, I don't know a how Hawaii. Better, but it's, like, imagine, No, because you done imagine. paid all this money to go to Hawaii and then I die. Know, you paid all this money to die. And not even, like die like someone tried to kill you 
So there's some justice to be served. No, you got hit by the ambulance. And now they're oh on vacation. God. They're not gonna like. I mean, family's probably gonna sue. Whatever. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So, um, let's just transfer it all into the next story. Um, people dying in weird ways. I I actually don't know if the guy died in this next story. So. Just one second. Okay, here we go. Because it, it don't say f- fatally shot. It just says accidentally. So this woman shot her husband when he I guess, he tried to surprise her with breakfast or whatever. I guess, he he like left early and then you know came back to the house. I mean I guess I understand like she didn't know. Who probably? Uh, but I'm. I don't know. I don't know why she was so paranoid. I don't know. <laughs> well, Man. it depends on the neighborhood you live in. I mean, sometimes you know, somebody <laughs> She's surprising totally you blind. is not a good thing. <laughs> she can see barely. Oh, another one of those. Just tried to have a good time and then death. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it says, police says she may have been on edge due to recent break-ins in the area. But I feel oh, like. Oh, oh. There's always recent break-ins in the air, like any areas, like this. That statement is always there. So, I mean, there's oh, no wow. no crime. There's like there's no place with no crime, especially in America. Well, there's some places with lower crime and higher crime, though. And I'm thinking, if he knows people have been breaking in around, I I might have thought twice before <laughs> having a surprise party, knowing people have been breaking into houses around me. That's yeah. true too. She's probably okay. Was, well, I guess this this is kind of his fault because he he okay. This is his fault. Uh, what is it? Because say? he um he set off the alarm. What? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so. Yeah. And he didn't type the code in, or he couldn't figure out. Oh, the okay. Phone? No, it is his fault. I mean, well, she. Okay, well, she should have did a little investigation, too, because she shot him through the door. Aw, oh, come on. Uh, so, like, you could have said, who, who, what is going on? Like, I know they're on your property, but come on. If they haven't even gotten through the door, I don't think you should be shooting yet. Mm-hmm. And, and then it was, like, it was 10 a.m., too. So it's oh. just kind of like, and usually somebody who's breaking who, in at 10 a.m.? Yeah, somebody who sets off the alarm isn't going to keep on trying to intrude. And go after stuff. And then Usually, why would somebody break in right and come straight up to your bedroom? Oh, like they didn't. They don't oh. have to check no other room. Like they had the blueprints oh, no. already. I mean, that happens. I mean, yeah. I mean, cause I. I mean, there's sometimes where like people know what they're looking for already, so they probably be like, "Oh, the jury box is in the bedroom." But. And honestly, people are breaking in at all times of day. I mean, we we've had here uh, people being held up at gunpoint at like 9 a.m in the middle of a very public area so people don't care i mean um the guy did say have a comment he said i'm good um, oh the he's guy a got trooper. Shot? yeah he's a trooper i guess um <laughs> it says good. the investigation is ongoing i mean what 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 are they investigating yeah. we know who shot who we know who got shot they're trying to see if it's a criminal thing but I don't. If he's not trying to pursue that, I don't see why they should. Well, I mean, she was trying to kill him. She didn't do a good job. He's uh, he's good. <laughs> I mean, is he talking about pressing charges or? No, he just he declined. No, it says he returned home, and said I'm good. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> sure? I don't. I but I do feel like. The only thing is that he set off the alarm. It's just like, you couldn't shut off the alarm before you went to the bedroom? You do it's, live there. Yeah, I mean, it's his own house. <laughs> you you don't know the cold? So, I'm. that's what it's just like. Especially if you know where you live. And then I'm pretty sure they probably had, like, some discussion. Like, is she scared? Like, if you know she's scared in the house, don't set off the alarm and then just walk around the house. 
Especially you know she got a gun and that she's not going to do no investigation. She's just going to start shooting. Yeah, you should know who you're married to. <laughs> you should know who you're married to. But it was through the door, though, right? Yeah. That's why I kind of blame her. I was like, he wasn't even in the house and you started shooting. I guess she figured she should yeah, ask questions but later. That's a little, that's where detail is kind of weird because how did she know he, he was in front of the door? He had to have said something. It's probably, she probably heard him trying to get in, turn the handle or something. I mean, the only investigation they could probably do is if she was like premeditating this murder. And he just ended up being good at the end of it. I don't know. Maybe he had like some little affair and she was like, I know he doesn't know the alarm or I'm going to change the alarm code. And I know today's my birthday. He's going to try and surprise me somehow. Okay. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I could see this on the ID channel. But what if it's just like he says the alarm off and then... Like, what is it? She shot him from the bedroom door? Yeah. Oh, so he's already in the house. Yeah. So he's already inside of the house. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought it was outside, like, the front door or something. No, through the bedroom door. That's why it's it's weird because, like... It's like, no, you should have... If you know know that your wife was a little bit on edge and she doesn't... She's... People know who, like, you know. So... (laughs) I don't even know if I'd say she was on edge, though, because think about it. You're at home by yourself. You're not expecting anybody to be in there. All of a sudden, somebody's coming up to your bedroom door trying to get in, and you're not and, thinking, oh, it's my husband, because it's a surprise. Yeah, and all of, like... And then the that's most, why it's the like... The thing you hear is somebody coming in and sounding like a man, like a man is moving around in your house. So that means that he came into the house, set the alarm off, and that, kept it ringing while he went upstairs. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Like, why did you... Why what about what about turning off the alarm? <laughs> that, okay. super that makes suspicious. sense now. Maybe like, he maybe he really didn't know how to do it, and he wanted to go upstairs and tell her, "Hey, do it for me," because I don't know the code or I can't remember. I'm. It may have been a but like you know I feel code. I feel like if she knew that he didn't know the code, then she should have at least opened the door. Like. Well, like I said, she didn't know it was him, though. And and then nobody has a cell phone? Like, I don't know. Well, it's a surprise. He was well, surprising I mean, her. It is pretty terrifying to, like, not know someone is in your house right outside your door. Yeah, and it's a surprise party, so he, he didn't say anything to her beforehand. Like, hey, I'm going to come home a little early, you know, help me out. He, she didn't know who that was. I don't, it's something I don't know. It's just something fishy. Cause it's, I mean, I don't unless they're just unless he's just like really stupid. No, this is not a good plan. <laughs> yeah, I feel like okay, you wanted to do a good gest- gesture, and then you went through. The alarm is on. You're like, oh, well, I know she's up there with a shotgun, so I'm just gonna <laughs> text you now. Like, <laughs> I'm downstairs. Okay, so. Well, he may not have known. Maybe she got it after hearing about all the break-ins and he didn't know she bought it. Unless it was a silent alarm. No, I'm pretty sure that he knew Rava, that he she had a gun. Because, like, usually that's something you should tell your spouse that's in the house. Well, you should. Doesn't mean everybody I does. mean, they are young. They're only 28, 27. Oh, yeah, that's really young. And, you know, uh, young people, we do stuff different. I'm young too. I would, if I was married, I would tell myself. I'm yeah. I don't see. Like, I mean, alarm systems aren't cheap either. So, I'm I'm pretty sure he would know know this. I mean, at least notice that there's. Oh, what is this new pad by the door? Yeah, you can't be like <laughs> stupid. Like. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one, people. Um. Okay, you guys want to do the? Oh, let's do this one. The couple in the closet <laughs> for two days <laughs> in an unlocked closet. I'm. Listen, I know drugs are like 
I know they can do some crazy things, but I mean. <laughs> Don't lie. Just tell us you were high, please. Well, I mean, they didn't deny. I mean, I'm pretty sure they found them when they were still high. But I mean, they call. Don't say that you were trapped in the closet. I mean, and how clearly it was open. But how do you get like for me calling nine one one? That means it got real. Like that means I tried whatever else I could before. Not <laughs> at least try open the door before you call nine one one. Like. <laughs> And, like they couldn't text the friend like hey can you <laughs> come let us out no they called the police first i love how like 911 comes before like hotel management or something yeah <laughs> and i mean l- listen to this police discovered human feces in the closet oh, as well as no. copper scoring pads and all that the Orlando Sentinel reports are sometimes used as crack smoking. Okay, so they're crack addicts. Oh, yeah, that explains that. I get. Oh, that's nasty though. Oh. How long did they stay in there? Two days. So they stayed in two days with their own feces. <laughs> just, just think about that for a minute. <laughs> that's not. That's gross. Oh my God! And God knows what else happened in there. Oh, while okay. They this is even there. worse. Okay. Because I didn't know where they were. I thought it was like maybe a private home. They, they okay, a, a Florida couple called 911 on Tuesday saying they'd been chased into a closet on the campus of Daytona State College. Mm. So that means there's like hundreds of people outside. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and they were chased in their closet. And Wait, like, where's this closet? I have like no, they just found a random closet on campus? I have no idea. I mean, they were chased in there. They clearly con- had their phones. I'm, the guy is thirty-one and she's twenty-five. Oh, okay, they were charged with trespassing, so they weren't students. I mean, they were kind of old students, but I don't know. Chase? Why would someone chase you in the closet and then stop? So they just got caught. <laughs> like, no. We get all the way to the closet when you're trapped, and then we're going to not do anything. Exactly. And then you didn't even call 911 at the time. You waited two days later. I don't even know how your battery was charged. Two days later for you to dial 911. I mean, maybe maybe they were lucky and found an outlet in the closet. (laughs) Did they get caught in there, or did they just call the um 911 and then just be like hey um we're trapped or somebody got they got trapped or they got they called just... saying they were trapped see all logical all logical arguments are completely <laughs> thrown out once you i mean they were on crack <laughs> there's, there's no other explanation for that i i mean what else is going to leave you in an open closet with your own feces for two days. <laughs> I, know. I, I just want to know, like, if they were in someone's dorm room. Yeah. Whose dorm room? Like, what room were they in that nobody, like, went into? Where's the student? Oh, man. But, you know, sometimes, you know, kids, we do stuff. You know, maybe they was like, well, let's see how long they stay in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe they could have had bets and everything. Two days in an unlocked closet. That's that's actually very feasible. Like I can see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Oh wow. A police officer tested the door by entering the closet and closing it behind him. It did not lock. <laughs> <laughs> Even the cops were trolling them. That's stupid. I mean... And it did not lock. That is the last sentence. It did not lock. <laughs> but now it's like, you're forever that cop's story. Mm-hmm. Like, even when they retired, they're 70 years old, they're going to be like, and you'll they're... never guess what happened to me. <laughs> we were called to the scene. 
to let people, to let these people that were trapped in an unlocked closet out. And they're young, so they're going to be living this for, like, ever. Is that you, Tynesha? That is Tynesha. Sorry. <laughs> Juggling Tupperware that. for. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that it was that close. Sorry. You was having a good time with them wings. <laughs> <laughs> I finished them too. They they were so good. It sounded like it was done. <laughs> okay. Um. Was that the last sad story? Well, I mean that was <laughs> that wasn't a sad story. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's. I didn't even read this one. The dog traveling but i had read about like the cat that did it a couple of years ago i thought really? it was cute i saw a video on cnn about it the dog i just think that's i mean i but you know i i think it's odd about like when cats and dogs are using like public transportation it's just like um like we're so unadvanced like dogs can use the bus yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing? Like, if a cat can remember what stop to get off and on, like, what are we doing? I'll be right back. So, was it going to, uh, you said visit its owner? Uh, oh, no. It says um, it rode the bus to go to the dog park. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, apparently, like, I the owner the, the owner of the dog had to step away for a second one day, and the dog just got on by himself, and he found him at the dog park. Well, you know what's, um... Yay. <laughs> okay, this story's a little bad on my mother's part, but it's still kind of good. Uh, well, my, my grandmother would always, like, make my mother... Like, she always used to have a bunch of animals, but she would always make them... Um, make her give it away and it's just like back in the day like they didn't like take them to the um shelter they would just like leave them wherever and they took them to the park and the dog made it back to the house before they did (laughs) oh wow and i'm like we i i should have met that dog like that was a brilliant dog that's hilarious like why would you get rid of that dog at that point see but that was justice at some point, like, I would try and train him to do my taxes. <laughs> Be like, you can do these things. I mean, I think that's just amazing. Like, that dog was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you thought you was going to get rid of me. I got back faster than you. How? <laughs> this is your city. You can see everything in color. Wow. And I, <laughs> I, I think it's cool. But, yeah, we do need um better infrastructure, though. Um. I mean, dogs can. We can just have buzzes for dogs. We should be <laughs> teleporting by now. We really do. Yeah. <laughs> <Why? laughs> Yo, I can't wait till they finally get that going. But I feel like you know what? I don't. I feel like they're gonna not do it because like it's dangerous. It's a little dangerous. You should it's have like because what about somebody just teleporting to the Oval Office? No. <laughs> No, no, no. There should it be would a, be really they, expensive, and they, also they'd have some things limited. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like you, they should only have like a certain access point that you can teleport to, and Kinda then you have like, to walk. Uh, yeah. Oh, like sta- like, like teleport stops. station. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you can't just you know, go anywhere. It's gonna be very limited because it's probably gonna be very expensive to come up with. Or you know yeah. what I'm looking forward to: self-driving cars. Oh, yes. those are they. Um, there was a bunch Google. of them at the. Um, there is, yeah, there is one electronic show. Um, those might not are be cool. able to get it though because companies like to make money, and then lots of stuff would go out of business if self-driving cars existed. True, just like um, Boy, electricity stuff is really big, but well, oil I mean, doesn't like, want to. The taxi drivers don't like Uber because they're stealing all their business, quote unquote. Will they allow self-driving cars? Speaking of Uber, that is so dangerous. Like, I can't, like, there's no protection, no, like, real liability or anything. You just happen to car the stranger. But did you hear, yeah. like, the the girl on, what was it, Halloween? And uh, she, because Uber's weird. 
Like the way they charge people is just like on the what? holidays, it's more. So like she got charged for she got a bill the next morning for three hundred dollars. Well, I mean, they tell you at the time how much it's gonna cost. Yeah, but if you get like drunk people in the middle of the night, Halloween is not even a federal holiday. What the hell? Well, well it's just that whenever lots of people use it, supply and demand, like if there's more people that need rides, then it's gonna be more expensive. Well, yeah, but you can't raise it up three hundred per person. Like, did she really go four states away? <laughs> <laughs> um, we have somebody joining the call. Are you on? Uh, yeah. Um, can you just like introduce yourself, your channel? Uh, well, my name's Zach. Um, and I've got a YouTube channel. There's a new one. It's just a uh, dumbest name ever, Zach Attack. So it's, and first thing I just came up with it on the spot. First thing I could think of, but yeah. So I make videos every. Sometimes, sometimes I make videos. <laughs> oh well, welcome. Um, right now we're talking about um poor public transportation, and dogs being smart enough to use it. Um, oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And. Um, what was we just we was just talking about Uber, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know Uber like in LA is like really doing well. Of course, here is just like, well, we already had cabs. So I mean, of course, it's good to have competition. Yeah, we don't have any tr public transportation at all where I live. Oh, cause like here is just like. Where do you live? I live in North Texas. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> is that kind of like countryside or it's like in the suburbs outside of dallas so that's really not bad but yeah it's it's not gonna have you're mostly driving yeah we have no buses or trains no or anything buses. like that buses what well we're oh. spoiled here in new york city because there's a bus every five minutes dang in new york that's awesome Honestly, I get mad if I have to walk more than two blocks to the next subway station. But that's why I get on people that complain about the MTA, because I'm like, if you go to any other city, yeah, you're waiting an hour for a bus, not exactly ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I miss home. I mean, like here they have <laughs> no, because here they have buses. They have um some trolley bus, and then they have this regular bus that you wait for. But after a certain time. That's it. Like, you can't get on the bus anymore. Oh, yeah, because when I went to Philly, th and that was really surreal because she said, oh, the train station's closing. And I'm like, what? Closing? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what do you? And she was locking like, up the train station. I'm like, no. I could not grasp that concept for the longest. Like, I was like, okay. Like, I'm not going to take the bus right now. <laughs> 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 They're like, no, you can't. It's it's over. That was the last bus. Yeah, it was just, and then they still had tokens. Well, they have um, yeah. You, well, I think you pay with money. I just pay with my um, my ID, school ID, because you pay through it through the school and stuff like that. And then um, they have the cab service. You can call a cab and stuff. It's really cheap, of course, because it's not that big of a city. <laughs> yeah. You know, Puerto Rico, okay. the you, last time I went you to Puerto Rico. You guys are Rico. lucky. Sorry. Wow. Oh, um, <laughs> I what thought is Chrome it? was on mute. The last time I went random. to Puerto Rico, they only had like one train station that they finally built. One train station that just went through the whole island. And... Well, how you have one train station? What's the because point? Where are you going to go? They just made the train station to get through the whole island, and it's literally only about, like, eight stops. It's kind of like oh, okay. it's kind of like that, that one train that goes around through, like, Staten Island or something. Or is it... Oh, yeah, the whatever. I don't know what it's what line it is. I don't yeah. go to Staten Island. And it's actually, they've got metro cars just, like, here and stuff. Staten Island is like the forgotten child. <laughs> <No>. They really <laughs> are. And honestly, like at nine PM, that's when all the shops would close and the the train station would close. They closed the train station there too. And I was yeah. like, hey, really? That's pretty early. It is. And I was just like, Dude. I mean, Philly. It was. We were downtown. I'm. 
I don't even remember what day it was, but we were downtown and it was it was light out. And she was closing the train station. For what? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, because Philly's really small in, you know, city for cities. I I don't know. It's just, I, it's New York City, like, I mean, we have our problems. But, I mean, the MTA is pretty nice. Yeah, Even though they guys, keep going up on the you street. have public transportation. Huh? Yeah, where I live, you have to get a bus for an hour. To take that for four hours to get to the nearest city, which is boring as hell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Yeah. You said four yeah, hours, and I was that's already Melbourne. like, no. <laughs> So, um, the next story is, um, it was a little hot topic of, I think, last week, and that's the Justin Bieber Photoshop scandal. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, okay, so, apparently, the, the, there was, like, uh, I mean, everyone gets Photoshopped for whatever, um, ad, but apparently, the website that, like, came out originally with, like, all the original photos, the unphotoshopped photos. Apparently they photoshopped the Photoshop to make the unphotoshopped pictures, so those are fake. Yeah, it, the 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 uh, the alleged pre Photoshop pictures do look pretty fake though. Like his skin's already flawless, which is not what anyone's like. Yeah, it's Wait. just. No, go ahead, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It, I mean, it, the 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 photos that came, it looks like him. It's not like it didn't look crazy, like. So they just made him look like more beefy, or something. Like I don't that. even think they really did. Yeah. Because if you over. if you see the pictures of him if you from look at me, and he looks a little bit different from the first picture. So. If you look at the pictures and you look at him at the Victoria's Secret thing. He looks pretty much the same. Now there is the the crotch scandal, which I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's we've what already gone like, into that. About all of I mean, it, I mean, it, yeah, he probably did, you know, a little something. Yeah, honestly, it, from <laughs> my point of view, I at first I was just saying, oh well, if he wants to stuff his underwear, let him stuff his underwear. You know, people are insecure about a lot of things. And Justin was saying, but, you know, he shouldn't be insecure about those things because that's what they put out but in then society. It's, but it's also like you didn't stuff your underwear at the Victoria's Secret thing. I had no clue so about why? the Victoria's Secret show because I hadn't seen it. But now that you said that, I was like, oh, well, you really shouldn't have made a before and after. And then and on after. Twitter, they started putting a side by side. Yeah. Why would you do a before and after and I'm like, you know, people? I mean, you know who you are. You know everyone's going to do an investigation, especially Twitter police. Exactly. Those assholes. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. I mean, as soon as someone like, like everyone has had a nose job and then they're like, oh, look, see. And sometimes it don't even it's just be like lighting. And then sometimes like, look, it's just someone petty, got a yeah. nose job. They got a nose job. So, of course, they're going to be like, look, look at his crotch. <laughs> it's different. Anybody? It ever? is an underwear ad. I mean, they want to they want to show show stuff off. I mean, it probably would help people because, like, you know, a lot of people with the Justin Bieber and uh, like, he's birthday. a woman or, you know, how they <laughs> he's a girl. So like, oh, Justin Bieber can look like that. <laughs> I can look like that. <laughs> so any other thoughts? I'll be honest. I don't really keep up with well, Justin yeah, Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't keep up why, with him. Why like, would keep they up want- with him. Why would they want Justin Bieber on a photo shoot in the first place? Because he's not a very good person. So having him associated with your brand, that's just a really dumb idea. Well, this is America. He still gets work anywhere. Like, is Justin Bieber really the epitome of sexy? Couldn't they get anyone else like that people like more? Yeah, but we don't care here. (laughs) Like, we don't. Um, (laughs) I mean, it's just like. Like, okay, Kim Kardashian, Justin right? Justin still has his fan base. Yeah, and like Kim Kardashian. Yeah, they're all like young girls. Are they going to be the ones buying underwear? 
That's what I was Calvin about Klein. to say. I was about to be like, they really want to market it with the women. Don't yeah, they? but they've always <laughs> done that. Like, okay, Mark Wahlberg back in the day. Who was he for? Ooh, Marky Mark. And then yeah. oh, they didn't they just do one with Nick Jonas? Like who? <laughs> okay, the jo- that, that was that, not that, that long the, ago. Is that the diabetic one? The lead. The oh who? Don't be yeah. shady to Nick Jonas. His song was good. His album was good too. I don't like it. I think my sister plays it too much at home, and it just makes me sick now. You, I think you're just jealous. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> really good joke, Justin. No pun intended. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you little jiggle, though. Wow. That is a big difference. That is a big difference. He's got a rock in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I mean, with shade, no. No, not with shade. Because that's with what I'm nothing. saying. Like, if you had all the confidence to go out with this. He literally. And then, where's this coming from? It goes like you did in. not go through puberty in a month. Exactly. Look, the underwear goes in in the first picture. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's just go to the next story. Um, I don't know if you guys even will keep up with Mariah Carey. So, I mean, well, I guess this is more like a family. Like, what would you do in this situation? So apparently, um, Mariah Carey's sister in 2000, I think it was Us Weekly, she told a story about her being a mean spirited diva. I mean, we know she's like a diva. A diva. I mean, we don't know if she's mean because I've never really heard stories about her being mean. Yeah, but I just mean, just like kind of sassy. Yeah. And then, so they stopped talking back in 2000, and her sister's like, you know, I'm sorry. You know, can we, you know, like move on, whatever. You but it's easy been able it's, to move on from that. That doesn't even sound that bad. Yeah, but the thing is, in 2000, she had just had the breakdown. She had just had all of that emotional stuff, and it's just like probably her sister, and it's just like from what? I don't know. She had the, you know, the divorce, the album failing, whatever. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Well, maybe she just. Like, she didn't expect that from her sister, so that really hurt her feelings. I mean, that's the thing, like, people say things to other people, like, in families all the time. Like, I will always shit talk about my sister nonstop, but I'm not going to stop talking to her for more than a decade. What's all that? Well, her sister was... Maybe she betrayed, like, some people are more sensitive to that. I mean, her sister was a drug addict, and I'm not trying to say, like, drug addicts, but, like just because she was a drug addict but sometimes addicts when they're going through their addiction they can say really harsh things yeah. during their addiction and that could probably be it too oh yeah. i yeah. didn't know that that's kind of why i'm like she should have had a little more pity you know she's not the famous sister you know no one's looking at her i didn't even know she had a sister i mean i knew about nick jonas before i knew about the sister <laughs> Oh, it's like you forget Nick Jonas you was famous. Like he was famous. Is he really famous though? I don't believe you that. know who he is, right? He had a TV show. He had a TV the Jonas show? Brothers was huge. What? Yeah, a couple years ago. What channel was that on? It wasn't Disney a channel? what? What? <laughs> yeah, probably it was Disney. Disney. They had a show on Disney. I don't watch Disney. I hate Disney now. <laughs> I mean, I don't like Disney. Anymore. Disney, Disney went too far, and now they're just trying to get. Did anything. he do something to you? Yes. <laughs> like it's like personal. <laughs> Are you mad, bro? Shush. <laughs> was he the one that was on uh, Celebrity Apprentice recently? I don't know. He seems to have been doing stuff. anything. Okay, because one of one of the Jonas Brothers, I think, was on Celebrity Apprentice. One of them? How many are there? It's th- I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> like, I'm not even a fan, but... <laughs> anyway, back to... I mean, w- would you guys forgive your sister if, they, if she did that? Yes. All she said was she kind of just called her something mean, right? That was it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd be, I'd be over it. You know, it'd be, it would be annoying, especially if I'm going through something, but it's like, whatever. People say things. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just like, 
all right, I get it that she's famous and you really don't want your personal business going out there, but that's that's the risk you take when you become famous. A lot of your dirty um, laundry will go out to the press. But did her sister air dirty laundry? What, did she say more than just, you know, calling her mean or whatever? Or did she say something else? It doesn't even go into detail what she said. I don't... I guess I'd have to know. I mean, I... If she says something super, you know, personal and something I have told her in confidence, um, I might be a little more wary, mm-hmm. you know, around her. But I mean, I, I think I feel like I would forgive her. I mean, I, I feel the same. It probably would never be the same. Right. But, you know, I mean, you can come over for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm not going to call you on Saturday to tell you everything that happened during the week. Right. Yeah. Now you're not gonna hear anything. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna it's trust like you. You, you got downgraded a little bit. I mean. But I mean, how does that work? Does she not hang? Like, don't they have to be around each other? Like, I mean, I don't think she has a bad relationship with her mother. So, like, what happens at Thanksgiving and Christmas? Well, uh, siblings and family fight all the time. At the end of the day, it's still family. You, you should still love each other no matter what happens. So, I think that. Uh, whatever they did to each other, they can, like, get over it. I don't know, but if it was split holidays, I'd probably go to Mariah's <laughs> house party. Uh, well, we all know we're going to Mariah's house. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the sister would live. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm pretty like sure. Have- In the desert? In a desert? I mean, if Mariah gave her mother money, yeah. I'm pretty sure Mama gave the daughter money. Unless she's, like, burned from the whole family, then. I guess, yeah. I mean, it, it can't be everybody else. She's probably just invited to certain events, or they're not. Uh, she just completely doesn't speak to her when... I've seen somebody do that now. Like, yeah. go to an event with a sibling that they're not talking to and not speak to them, not even acknowledge them. Like, still be in the same room, but not say anything. Oh, yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, because if there's a lot of people there, like, you don't, it's not, I mean, if you, if it's just you and her, it's just like, okay, somebody's got to say something. But if it's like, <laughs> if it's like 25 people, 30 people. Yeah. You can be in the other room. You don't got to, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I like Mariah. <laughs> Or do you think there's been, like, tension build up throughout the years growing up with her sister that now she's like, now you've really done something and now I can just kind of, like, throw you out of my life? I mean, probably. That sounds valid. Because that's kind of how, like, my aunt is. Like, she had a sister who had another addiction and she would actually be selling my aunt's clothes to people just to make some side money. So oh, my dang. aunt would come home with nothing in her closet, nothing in her drawers. And, you know, after a while, she was just like, now you mean nothing to me. And they don't talk at all either, which I kind of understand because it's just been something that's been going on for years, like since they were children. I mean, if the person like if she's still an addict. I, I get it. Yeah, she is. Um, If she's like. If she got herself together, I mean, I can understand giving her another chance. You know, you know, if she's still same old, same old. Exactly. Like, you're they, not really trusting I mean, for addicts, they really got to want it for themselves. Yeah. I mean, you can force somebody, but so much. Rehab yeah. is only for somebody who wants it, not somebody mm-hmm. who needs it. So. I, I also don't want to enable them either. Yeah. Um. Well, that was the last story. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. so do you guys want to just get into it? Like, um, what are our favorite things of the week? Sure. Um, I don't know. Can you go for it? Can someone else go first? I don't know what mine is what yet. What do you even mean by first things of the week? I don't, I would think My yours, would, things. I would think yours would be Mexican food since you had it like four or five times. Oh, shut up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I literally I like just had apple. Mexican food now too. <laughs> and then Tanisha will be wings. Cause no, she I tore like- them wings up. Yeah, <laughs> what was that? All you heard were the bones going around. 
No, I was just like, I was going to pick it up to throw the um, little container out, so. Okay, well, can we talk about your mixing for you? Oh, well, that was actually great. I don't know why, but I've just been craving it all this time. And uh, favorite things of the week, I actually went out with my friends the other day oh, to, the, to the Museum of Sex, which was actually pretty <laughs> fun. There was a big booby bouncing castle. I like you said, which was actually pretty <laughs> fun. Like, who would think the Museum of Sex would be? I here? saw it on um, Snapchat. <laughs> it was, like, it looked there fun. were like, a lot of like. <laughs> it actually is fun. It's a <laughs> lot of fun. Well, you sound so surprised. Like, what did you think was gonna? I literally thought it was just gonna be like mostly a museum. Of, a like, mold of a penis, and it's like the history of the penis. Yeah, I the thought penis it was gonna originated be, in. I thought it was <laughs> gonna be boring, but no, they had like they had some pretty interesting stuff, which was this woman who did the first like pornographic film then there was a woman who first did a dog on film oh my okay Things like now. That. it was pretty uh. interesting <laughs> okay yeah. now it was interesting not not idealistic let's get that straight okay. um oh shut up just <laughs> but uh yeah they also had like different like uh models of old things that people used to use and all that they had like a really old chastity belt in like one of the displays <laughs> it's just like looking through the history of like what people did for this one topic, you know. I mean, I've passed by the building many times. It's they literally have like three floors up and a floor down, and the bottom floor is a bar, which is amazing. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the bottom floor is where that no. tape of the first lady with the. No, but I kind of feel like swingers go there because it's all just very creepy couples. But I, f- I feel like it wouldn't be there, though, because it's too obvious. Like, of course, you swing at the Museum of Sex. Oh, duh. But, you know, too like, obvious. it's obvious, but it's like, no, not many people know of the bar downstairs, so that's kind of a surprise. Did you go to the bar? Oh, yeah, because you were drinking. Went, okay, I was drinking, but <laughs> I, I forgot that there was a bar there. Well, how many times you been? This was the first time. Oh, I thought you were. I had a lot of fun. Okay, anyone else? <laughs> um, I guess I'll go. Uh, we're just doing what? Favorite things of the week? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my favorite thing, I don't know if you guys have heard of an artist called Pat Metheny. He's a musician. I've been listening to a lot of his music lately, and uh, I started playing the guitar recently, so oh, that's um, I've been listening to a lot more guitarists and stuff, and his music is just like magical so that's been my favorite thing for this week anyone else well i mean i can go i mean uh oh oh would you like to go yeah okay uh uh, well uh, over here it's like monday so i haven't really had a week to experience anything yet oh (laughs) (laughs) my favorite thing about last week i saw perhaps so perhaps the best movie I've ever seen, uh, the Imitation Game with Benedict Cumberbatch. That was pretty much the highlight of last week. See, that's why Daquan needs to be because he's the movie person. I know, right? Um, Allegedly. No, I mean I don't know. I mean he always says, "Let's go to the movies," and then he disappears, and then something and funny th- about that. <laughs> And then he still ends up going to the movie. I'm like, don't invite us then. Like, if we're just going to go. But anyway. Was it something funny about that? Uh, the bartender at my job was telling me about how he was claiming to be, like, the best movie expert ever. And somebody said, well, who's this main actor in, I guess, the Budapest Hotel? And he was like, oh, my gosh, I love that movie. And the main actor is Ralph Fiennes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the last name wrong, whatever. Um, oh, yeah. But the bartender said, oh, you don't know who you're talking to because I'm an expert on movies. You don't even know. And the guy that plays the main character is Liam Neeson. Oh. <laughs> I was just cracking <laughs> That reminds me of... Because um, I was like, <laughs> no. You remember Kevin Hart? <laughs> was someone taken at the Grand Budapest Hotel? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that movie. What is that movie about? It's it's about 
Well, Look ahead. at how Tanisha just jumped to it. No, yeah. This no, is your movie. Because I really haven't seen it. I'm not even going to lie about it. Tell us, Tanisha. Well, it's about, um, okay, this guy, is he first started working at this hotel. Um, he, the lady that owned the hotel died. So, and he had this little boy that, um, that is like his apprentice and just helps him do a whole bunch of crazy stuff to get him out from like not to be accused and not to go to jail. So they go through this whole big adventure, blah, blah, blah. Then it's just like, it goes back to the beginning of how this little boy ends up owning the hotel. So I don't want to give you too much away. Okay. I'm going to just take your word for it that it was good. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really, Wait, no, it's, so... it's so much, it's so eventful that you just want to see, you just want to watch it happen for yourself so, because. Wait a minute. It's about a woman it's... who is murdered and a man who is trying to prove that his friend didn't do it. Well, he's like, he works under him. His apprentice is trying to help him. Yeah. But that's essentially it. And he's like the manager of the hotel. And he's like, there's so much crazy stuff going on in the hotel in different rooms and stuff. It's really interesting. Well, what kind of manager is he? Yeah. He's like, um, he's a manager. Like he, he knows the guests that stay there mm -hmm. and and like some of them give him gifts. He gives them the best service and stuff, and then others he has like a lover in there and stuff like that in the hotel that stays there frequently. It's like it's a really mm -hmm. interesting story. And they're like, you, you, he's like, are you the guy, um, the Grand Budapest Pest, um, manager or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, yeah. And then he goes, and he, and then so he's like. Okay, I'm sorry, like, Tanisha. I'm really over this movie. Yeah. No. Well, she literally. <laughs> She's so hyped, she was, though. Yeah, she was really reading the script. <laughs> but no, he's just like. I wasn't reading the script. I was just reminiscing on a part where he ran away, and it was hilarious. All right. And they chased so. Him best week ever um well my favorite thing of the week um this new show called empire on fox mm -hmm. i wasn't expecting to like it because like 50 cent he went on this thing about how it copied power and i hated power so i'm like ill and then at first i thought it was a musical and i'm like oh no i don't <laughs> like i can do a musical movie but i can't do a musical tv show i can't like i don't yeah. want you singing every every week. episode but um sorry glee fans but um <laughs> that's why i never liked glee i don't like musicals so glee especially all different types of corny songs i like the songs i just don't like i don't want it to be a dramatic moment and then you start singing exactly <laughs> okay. like i don't know i mean i can feel the emotion from the song but it's just like i'd rather you just like it just be more natural or more re realistic. Exactly. And the songs go on for days. And it's like, all right, you should feel better after this. <laughs> like, because I know I already feel, like, annoyed. But um, the show's really good. Um, I'm so, it, It's, of course, you know, it has the black stereotypes, whatever. But it's, it's, it's done well. And I'm surprised on Fox. Um, and, yeah, and that's about it for... Uh, this week, um, Mitt, did you go? No. Are you still oh, I have one quick thing to add about Empire. I think they just said already they renewed it for a second season. Already. Yeah, apparently it was the highest rate of the new shows. Yeah, Which, it's good. I'm so surprised because usually, I mean, but Fox isn't as like NBC will cut you off real fast. Mm -hmm. Fox is a little bit more mm -hmm. nicer. Um, Mitt. You here? Oh, perhaps she's not here? Come back. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't want to wrap up with her. Okay. But, um, <laughs> thank you for every, um, thank you for joining. Thank you for listening. If you're listening, um, I'm going to try and put this on iTunes and SoundCloud. Of course, it's going to be on YouTube. Um, check out everyone's channel. Would anybody like to just shout out their channel again? Slowest in your face. Um, Victoria. Zach. Mine is the Victorian Empire. Zach, are you still here? Tanisha? Uh -oh. 
yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I'm I'm not saying it out loud again. Oh, okay. Tanisha? I think it's a name. Oh. It's a name better put on your screen than... I forgot words. the name. I forgot How Zach Attack. <laughs> he literally came I, back to say, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can uh, change your name at any time. Yeah, is it Z A C Z A C K? Yeah, Z A C. You guys, you guys I just <laughs> you keep like saying it over and over in different ways. <laughs> Tynesha, your yeah. YouTube name? Oh, um, I believe Tybeka Savvy. Yes, and um, that that wraps up the show. Oh, I'm supposed to have the intro music. I mean, outro music ready. <laughs> um, somebody talk. Well, uh, <laughs> thanks again for listening to our podcast, and uh, we have we hope to have more interesting topics to talk about next time. See you then. Bye. Music. Secrets. Oh. oh, this new crazy mother.